If I needed to find a software engineering job desperately as fast as possible, this is what I would do. In my last job search, I got over 30 interviews, secured four job offers with an average salary of $190,000. And I've taught 100 other developers how to do the same. The formula that I wanna show you is simple. It's just two steps and it can get you an interview within a day. The platform that we're gonna use is LinkedIn, but LinkedIn has a problem. If you go on any job posting, you're gonna see that it has hundreds of applicants. So there's no way to stand out. There's too much competition. So we're gonna use a little hack, we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna look for recent posts from hiring managers and recruiters who are actively looking for talent. So we're gonna go in the search bar right here and we're gonna write software engineer and, and then we're gonna write hiring. We're gonna search for this. We're gonna look for all posts and it's gonna show us this list of posts that were made by people who are actually hiring, like this one, for example. But we're gonna do more than this. We're gonna filter by the last 24 hours because we wanna see the most recent ones. So, so people who are literally starting to hire right now. And here I see a new list of people who are hiring and I can directly reach out to them. Like for example, here I see two hours ago, Suleiman is hiring for two remote positions, one software engineer and one machine learning engineer. And you can directly reach out to him. That's the type of opportunities you're not gonna find on the job portal. By the way, every week I send a new high paying job position to my email list. It's companies that are active hiring right now. I give it away for free. If you want to get access to it, there is going to be a link in the description. Then I scroll down again. I see another one here. They're hiring for a full stack developer in Austin and so on and so forth. But this is not over. We're going to go a step further. Once you find a job that you like, maybe they're going to share like a URL where you can apply to or like an email. We're going to actually go on the profile of this person and we're going to try to connect with them. So we're going to click here. Click on connect and we're gonna add a personalized note. This is an easy way to stand out. It costs you nothing, literally. I used this strategy in my last job search and I got five interviews like this. I just wrote something like, hey, like then J, like the name of the person. Then I write, uh, I'm a full stack developer from NYC. Uh, I worked at like, uh, then I mentioned something a bit unique about me. Like I say, I have like uh, three years of experience working at an edtech startup for example, and then using AI. Uh, then I will say like, I saw you are currently hiring. I would love to chat or I would love to have a quick chat. When you make it quick, <laughs> people like it because quick is just a nice keyword because people don't like to waste time. So if you say it's quick, they're gonna think, like, oh, okay, it's, it's a quick little thing. Let me accept it. And then I just click on send. Usually what I do also is that I go on the startup that is currently hiring and I'm trying to find other people who work there. So for example, if there is a CTO, if there is a hiring engineering manager, and I try to reach out to them as well. So I go on the people's tab and I just search through people inside of here. Now, I'm not gonna leave you just here. There is another bonus strategy that you can use. In general, I don't really recommend you going on the LinkedIn job portal because like I said, it's too competitive, right? Like most jobs that you're gonna see here, like hundreds of thousands of other software engineers are also looking at the same jobs and they're all applying to them. So you don't have any competitive advantage, the competition is too high on them. However, we can use the same strategy as we use for the posts to find like the most recent posts about people who are hiring. We can use it on the job portal as well. So the job portal it allows you to filter for the past 24 hours, but the past 24 hours is actually not good enough because there's still thousands and thousands of jobs and thousands of people who do the same thing. And look at this job, for example, it was reposted four hours ago, there's already like hundreds of applicants, right? And for most of those jobs, it's the case, it's over, over 100 applicants. When it's over 100 applicants, it can be really a lot. It can be like hundreds and hundreds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna search the URL and you're gonna find this special query parameter. And you see here, 86,400. That's the number of seconds in a day. So this is a parameter that you can tweak to narrow down the search. So for example, here I put 6,400. I'm gonna find jobs that are a lot more recent and I can keep changing and updating this value to get jobs that are more and more recent. So you can even narrow it down to jobs that are posted like a few minutes ago, like this one, for example, 51 minutes ago. So this one has already less applicants. And here the advantage is that you can find jobs that were literally posted right now and you're gonna be one of the first people to apply to those jobs. Then again, use the same strategy that I said before. You find people at those companies, you connect with them, you message them, and you try to get an interview like this. My goal is to help as many of you as possible find a job this year. If you like these tips and you want more, subscribe. If you wanna learn the skills to get a high paying tech job, watch this video next. Thank you for watching, Convenders. Asalaamu Alaikum.